forecast. Temperatures this morning are sitting in the upper 50s and low 60s, which for some people might feel a little bit crisp. However, we've got some higher dew points. You can see the numbers in green here across the map. That's that dew point. And once we start to get to about 60, that's an indication we've got a bit of moisture in the atmosphere and it starts to feel a little bit muggy. And I want to note as well, you see Angola, those two numbers match. Same with Auburn, same with Huntington. So some of the area is starting to see some reduced visibility. I'm talking about fog across the area right now. So reduced visibility less than a mile in Angola, less than two miles in Huntington, in the same case for Kendallville as well. So if you're traveling across the area this morning, getting ready to hit the roads, you probably want to give yourself a few extra minutes of drive time just to safely get to where you need to be. Now, the heat and humidity also going to combine to make it feel a little bit warmer this afternoon than what the actual air temperature will be. At 6 p.m., the forecast temperature is at 86, but the feels like temperature is at 89. So that feels like temperature going to bump up near and above 90 for some people today. And just a reminder, yeah, it's not particularly hot. It's not going to be the hottest day today, but the inside of your car heats up quickly with a temperature of only 85. It only takes 10 minutes for the car to reach over 100 degrees. So make sure to check the back seats for the kids and the dogs. Don't leave those that are most precious to you inside those hot vehicles. If you're spending time outside today, you need to do the yard work. Today is probably the day to do it. We should stay nice and dry. Yeah, it will be a little bit warm, but you won't have to worry about the rain. We're tracking some rain showers for your Saturday. Sunday, the ground might be a little bit soggy, but you can probably get that yard work in. And then Monday is another chance for some rain showers. Storm track satellite and radar right now. We've been tracking these rain showers and thunderstorms in southern Wisconsin. The good news is, is as it's moving to the southeast towards us, it's starting to dissipate. So I don't think we'll have to worry about rain showers, at least on any large scale for today. So here's what future track looks like at the noon hour. Mostly clear, mostly dry. A few more clouds this afternoon and then rain showers overnight and some thunderstorms as we get into Saturday morning. A cold front is going to swing through, bringing at times some heavy rain, but as that front moves to the east, it's going to start to weaken. So just some lighter rain expected for Saturday afternoon, a little bit hit and miss, and then we get rid of that rain on Saturday evening. So I think fireworks for Three Rivers Festival tomorrow night should be good to go. So how much rain are we talking? You see some blue and some purple on the map here. This is way overdone here, this red and this purple. I think most everybody will be in the blue category, about half an inch to an inch of rainfall over the next couple of days. So here's your first alert extended forecast. Shows Sunday, mostly sunny, a high of 85. Monday, there's that chance for rain and storms again. Temperatures down in the low 80s. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, partly cloudy conditions. Temperatures hanging out in the low to mid 80s for the high. All right.